Welcome back to Sound 101. I'm Andrew from Dating Microphones, and today is part two of a three-part series in which we talk about all the different kinds of mixes with Kevin over here. And today's episode is all about sending wireless audio from your mixer to your camera. So just like that graphic said, today's episode is all about sending wireless audio from your mixer to your camera. Now, Kevin, why would we want to do that? Because having picture alone without audio is just, uh, it's a different kind of working atmosphere and it makes it hard to understand exactly what's going on. You would have to pay attention and analyze the video to find out what's going on without the audio. Can't I just add like a microphone to my camera? You could do that, but it's not going to sound good. <coughs> you know, in the vlogging world camera, I mean, it's, it's, it's right there. It's, it's, you know, two, three feet max mm -hmm. depending on how long your arm is i'm not i'm not a tall person but sometimes especially in a narrative world you're shooting on a long lens and the subject matter could be 20 30 feet away and you might as well just not shot with the microphone at all correct big correct that's a huge misconception with production thinking that the solution is just put a microphone on the camera it does not work that way and what kind of special term is that called on set that is called scratch audio now the actual devices doing it though those also have special names even though they're just receivers and transmitters when using it for purposes like as we're doing today they have a special unique name which is camera hops there we go camera hops see he's a professional glad we have him in today so who do we need to talk to though on the whole production staff about what they want in the camera that's going to be a post decision of what they want basically whoever's editing it and if that person's not available you go to the person who's controlling the set uh, so the producer producer basically now when you say what they want to listen to while they're editing the stuff does that mean they're going to actually use that audio in post-production it's there for reference purposes only uh, you would pretty much only use it for fast turnaround productions you know something that needs to go to the edit really fast but if possible you always want to go with the separate the audio that was recorded in the mixer okay so let's actually take a look at the ones that i brought out now these are mono which means we're going to sum all of our audio together in yeah. this mix i'm going to give you my Comtech transmitter. Comtech transmitter. And the F8 right here. Cable. So talk to me through what you're actually going to set it all up with. So what I have here is a 2.5 to a TA3. And I'm going to plug this into transmitter right here because this version of Comtech only has a 2.5 on there. This side goes into one of the outputs on the F8. We have two TA3 outputs. So I'll put it into number one. And there we go. And you're going to create a special mix that is going into that transmitter, right? That is correct. I am going to have just the audio, not my slate mic, not anything else, not my conversation with the boom mob, just what is being recorded through here into the camera. So that is just scratch audio so that there is a reference on here. So if they wanna do a waveform sync, the waveforms are gonna be relatively close enough, almost identical, so that the software is gonna just sync it up really quick. That is correct. Cool, so now let's talk about the receiver and talk about the camera because there's a special trick that everyone out there should know. You'll notice camera people like to put soft Velcro all over their cameras because they're delicate human beings. Camera operators are the most delicate of human beings out there. But we're sound mixers, so we put hard Velcro on ours because we are tough people. And that is how it works. So I'm gonna actually just plug in. It's gonna come out of the headphone jack into their camera. Now, immediately you're gonna to say to yourself out there, that's a headphone volume output. Mm -hmm. That is an XLR input, which means it could be mic, it could be line, it could be both, depending on how the camera manufacturer set it all up. Now that's critical because this is where we started getting into gain staging all over again. Headphone amp, it's actually louder than that of a line level signal. Microphone input, very, very, very soft. These have dials on them because that's the model that I bought. I like to set my dial just barely open because that way it kind of mimics a line level signal, not quite full on headphone amplifier signal. And then I like to set the camera to line. So then I would just kind of feed this through and somewhere in there I'd plug it in. So what do you like to do personally if you actually have a stereo transmitter instead of a mono transmitter? If I have a stereo and I have the outputs, I will plug into what is available on the camera. Every camera is different, so you make sure, gotta make sure you have the proper adapters, you gotta make sure that you have the proper plugs to make it all work. Earlier we talked about multiple mixes, headphone mixes and routing. Now you're going to route what you want to be sent to the camera. 
I like to send the main mix, the main mix, which is the grouping of all microphones put together in just one track. Which is interesting because I'm the exact opposite. So my personal preference is actually put the boom on the right and all my lobs on the left when I have a stereo transmitter. It's a great way for quick turnarounds to still get isolated tracks. It's definitely one way to do it. Again, as I've said before, it's a matter of preference, not so much like correct manner. So now there's one last thing we got to talk about though. Let's say you do have a mono system, which okay. means we can't put time code on the left and audio on the right, you know, stereo transmitter. You can mm -hmm. transmit time code. Sometimes you got to do one thing and that is this guy right here. Yep. You can talk us through a little bit about time code. Time code is a number system that is synced to the camera and the audio recorder, allowing it to be synced in post. So what that means out there is the fact that this thing is pumping out a bunch of numbers very, very, very fast, all in rhythm and in sync with a bunch of other little boxes that match exactly it. The sync point of that number on your audio recorder yeah. is the exact same sync point in your camera. So if for whatever reason your camera goes out of range of your transmitter, you got the backup, which is time code. Yes. Now here's the big question. Is this and this a substitute for each other? It can be. There you go. Hardest question of the day and it's a maybe. It depends on how you want to do it. If you have audio going into the camera, you can sync up the waveform, the audio in post. If you don't have audio going into the camera and you have the number system on your recorder and your camera matched, then you can sync that up in post quick as that all about post it's all about their preference all about what software they're using the yeah. capabilities of it and the person behind the keyboard at the end of the day which one are they more comfortable with working with right i mean pretty much some of them prefer this some prefer that but i think we can both say having both on a camera all at once is literally the best option yes so that is it that is another episode in the can we learned how to transmit audio from there to here and what kind of stuff needs to be in that mix going to the camera why we're actually doing this in the beginning and more importantly we touched on how time code and scratch audio wirelessly sent are not necessarily the same thing because again it comes down to post production's preference don't forget to follow and like and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. And here on this platform, you got to go hit that bell for all those notifications because we post new videos every single week. Drop a comment in the section below and tell us what our next video should be about. This is where we get most of our ideas coming from. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones and thank you for watching. I don't know why I do these sometimes.